friends, it's me, your favorite YouTuber who's had food poisoning twice in the past week. Back at it for another video. Can you help Rocco get home? There's only one way the maze can go, and it's a dead end. No, he can't get home. Sorry, Rocco, you on your own. You gonna be a lone car the rest of your life. We got this bathroom. Two urinals right next to each other. Literally, who thought this was a good idea? I know a girl didn't do this. A guy put these two together. And then even put like a glass panel. So the person next to you can't see you. But the person right next to you, who you're literally bumping elbows with, can see and smell and hear everything. What's the point of this? Maybe you can like practice for the Olympics. Like, pss, 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 pss. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are up to in the bathroom. <gasps> oh no! So this slide doesn't have the bottom half. Where did it go? Did it ever have a part where you actually slide? This ain't a slide, this a fall. I wonder if that poor little girl's mom planned this. Baby, you see that slide? Why don't you go through that one? And then she'll go up and then go slide down and then mom records her just falling on her face. Life lessons right there. Don't trust anybody. Before I even say anything, look at this. Smash like if you think that looks like soda. Or some kind of fancy drink, right? It's a floor cleaner! Literally a floor cleaner. How you gonna put them in the grocery store like that? So your kid grabs one on the way out like, Mommy, I want this. It looks pretty. It looks like a lemonade and orange juice in the same bottle. But little do they know, it's floor cleaner. How y'all gonna confuse the people of the world like this? Oh, Cinderella, how could they do you like this? That puzzle piece in a little too good. <laughs> At least if she ever loses her shoe again, she could just sniff for it. <laughs> Which one of you took my shoe? Oh yes, found it. Okay, Snifferella. We got the sign for a restaurant that says, Eat Jessica's Family. Whoa, nah, I think I'll pass. I don't even think they taste good. So the restaurant's called Jessica's Family Restaurant. And then they have a big eat sign. Is this an invitation or a challenge? This kindergarten classroom has a toilet in the middle of the classroom. Is this even legal? There's no door. If you want to go do your business, the teacher and all the other students can keep an eye on you. I mean, there's three walls, but what about the fourth wall? The one that you need? What if you were like, I had to go to the bathroom and they don't want kids leaving the class and they're like, okay, you know what? Use the one in the back. Pikachu meme face. I mean, I know kindergartners are like small, but what if you just had Taco Bell? Is the whole class gonna have the misfortune of smelling it? I can't learn my days of the week like this. Here we got a solar powered parking meter in an underground garage. <laughs> okay, that's just straight up stupid. Well, I mean, if you figured that out, then you don't have to pay for parking. Because if it's solar powered and it's underground, it's probably dead. Man, whoever put this here, straight up fool. N-D-E-E-I-S Wait, what? Neighborhood Design Center. Oh my god, these fools. In yellow text, it says neighborhood. And in white text, it says design center. Okay, well, they're creative, I can tell you that, but not in a good way. I would never pay for a design service from somebody who makes a sign like this. You can't even read the sign. They tried to be edgy and failed miserably. Oh, there's gotta be no better way to write your phone number than scroll down digit by digit. Whatever this is, I ain't signing up for it. If I gotta put every single digit, why can't you make me spell it out? They really wanna make sure to get you on their phone mailing list. Here, we have the big kahuna, Cerberus of slides. There's not one, not two, but three ways you can go. See, in theory, this sounds like a good idea, but you have to keep your body like all straight and whatever you do, no matter what, do not separate your legs, especially if you're a guy. Oh no, 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 there is like a 90% chance that you might take a big fat oof on that slide. Yeah, no, I think I'll pass. Ew, what is this clock? Throw it away. Instead of having 12, 3, 6, 9, it has 1, 3, 4, 5. Wait, it's 3 o'clock. What's in between 3 and 4 o'clock? And then 4 and 5 o'clock. And then there's 4 hours between 5 and 9. And stone it up. Okay, throw the whole thing away. I don't like this. Don't make sense. <laughs> Somebody drew a handicap sign. That's obviously never seen a handicap sign. Like, dang, that's the dummiest, thickest handicap man I have ever seen. Poor grandpa just wanted to throw his paper towels in the trash. But they put the dryer right on top of the trash can. So that when you throw the paper towels in, the drying sensor is tingled. And then it blows the paper towels everywhere. Why would you do that? Such a bad place to put them. 
Okay, this is the ugliest elevator I've ever, ever, ever seen. What's the point of this? <sighs> this is giving me a panic attack just looking at this. Okay, I wanna know why some floors have a button and a sticker, and some floors just have a button. Maybe somebody thought it was ugly and started stealing all the stickers that say what floor you're going to. It's like they're not necessary. The freaking button says the number of the floor. Why do you have to do it twice? You're trying to make me mad. I will never come to your hotel. One star on Yelp. There is this tool called Stop Struggling with those stubborn plastic packages. Oh, finally, I won't have to suffer with these anymore if I just buy this. And then you realize that it comes in one of those stubborn plastic packaging. Why? Why would you do this? You are literally going against everything you believe in. This is like the final boss. After you buy this device and you manage to get it out, you will never have to struggle with one of these ever again. But only if you can open this one. Whoever made this pillow has not looked at a compass in a hot minute. I don't know left and right, but even I know what a compass is supposed to look like. Didn't you learn never eat shredded wheat? In what universe is north up here and south down here? Like, I get it if you get east and west mixed up, but like north here and south here? What? This is what happens when you drop out of school to make pillows. Let's put a fence here to block the staircase so that no one can enter and no one can leave without a key. Unless you just take two steps around. What's the point? Why even put a fence there? You could just walk right around it. Unless you're playing the floor is lava and the grass is actually lava. This ain't gonna work. Kids, adults, real anti-abduction. Everyone. What does that spell? Karate. What? They couldn't think of what the T stood for, so they just put a kicking man. He ain't even doing a T pose. You could have put like training or something. This is a horrible ad. Makes me never want to learn karate. The poo professor. The poop professor. Your swimming pool software? Hold on. Swimming pool? No matter how I look at it, there's a guy squatting. And it's called the poo professor. But that's supposed to be an L. It's supposed to be the pool professor. Okay, you can't call yourself a professor when you can't even separate the L from the P. They try to save space and make it the pool professor, but ended up being the poo professor. Okay, what the heck is a swimming pool software? Let me install some software so that my PC can learn how to swim. And then throw it into the pool. Why is my PC not swimming? We want to make our bathroom fancy. So we're gonna put mirrors on the ceiling. That's fancy, right? Mirrors on the ceiling? Literally on top of the toilet so everybody who is standing outside of the toilet waiting can see what you're really doing in there when you take a long time. I ain't using this bathroom. Nope. I can hold it till we get home. Or y'all ever lock the main door of a bathroom? <laughs> I think I did it once when I was a kid. I was like, I want this bathroom all to myself. And it was like a multi-stall bathroom, but I locked the main door. It was at school. Nobody came in, but I, I just felt so powerful in that moment. Over here, we have the stairs and the wheelchair escape route. Whoa! So if you want a wheelchair to get down these stairs, you gotta do a 360 kickflip or something to successfully land. This has gotta be the staircase down like the Olympics office or something. Cause this can only end one way. Badly. So this is at the airport. Nobody, absolutely nobody is allowed in. You know what? We're gonna put a door and then a mini door just to make sure nobody can go back in. But when the freaking door opens, the mini door opens. Cause it's like, oh, the door is opening. Even though there's nobody there, then the mini door opens. Y'all put the doors too close to each other. You know those cutouts where you could put your face through them? They had one of a panda. But can you even tell us a panda? Okay, this was just not a good idea. A panda got the eyes up here, the nose down here, but no. We just gonna make a cutout right here. Congratulations, you're a panda snout. How that bamboo smell just did not work, okay? There's this boat that says no safety, smoking first. It's supposed to say no smoking, safety first, but like why y'all have to put it on either side and then separate it with a big logo in the middle? Now it'll look like it's saying no safety. Go take a picture right under that. No safety on this boat allowed. Ew, this is actually gross. One side is a plunger and one side is a cleaner. You know, Walmart probably thought this was a good idea until you think about like both of the sides are gonna get like dunked into the toilet. And then you just have a very small surface area that won't be dirty. Now who am I kidding? This whole thing is dirty. It's like a one-time use thing, then throw it away after. You know that's what Evan does? Every time he's used a plunger, he throws it away after. He's like, I ain't cleaning this. 
In this hotel, they have this carpet, this very unusual plaid looking carpet. And then when you look directly down at it, it looks flat. These are trippy, it's like I know they're stairs, but if you look at it like just the fabric and look down, it's like these don't look like stairs. How many people have tripped on these stairs? I need numbers, Marriott. I like how they have that little section at the bottom of the stairs before you do the second floor. So it's like if you slip and fall, you have a nice little wall and a little moment where you can collect yourself and mentally prepare to fall down another set of stairs. So these doors are the push doors. There's no handle, you can't pull. But it says pull. This is a Jedi entrance or something. I gotta use the force to like suck it open. What? How you gonna open this? Maybe there's only exiting, no entering. Once you're in there, you're stuck. This is the true mind test. How do you open this? Comment below. Animal Anus. Animal Anus. Animal Anus. Whoa! No! That's not what it's supposed to say! I ain't gonna say anything. Smash like if you get it. Here we have a trash can. And here we have donations. Don't get it twisted. Why make them literally the exact same container and put them right next to each other? Does somebody just look at this and be like, oh, what a perfect place to put a donation box next to the trash. What, so when people are done with their big gulp, they'll donate it? This is dumb. Even the opening, it's like, what can you even fit in there? A uh, big gulp. So this dude went to a game and paid $25 for this seat. Oh my god, that's horrible! Why even put a seat there? Why put a pole there? Somebody's supposed to sit there! Not even a child can fit there! This is literally the kind of chair that you put a purse on. My dog can't even fit there. Yeah, I'm gonna need a refund. Don't you just love when you're looking for an outlet and then you find this literally behind a glass wall How are you even supposed to reach that? There was three other sides of the pillar that they could have put an outlet on They're like no, nope, we're just gonna put it on the back side. Good luck This is like trying to find an outlet in an airport. It's like everybody needs them, but ain't nobody got them Oh my god, this is agonizing looking at this. Like you just trying to take a bath and all the water hits the bathtub before it goes into the bath. <sighs> Uh, who did this? And like the worst part, they just did it and they were like, oh, it sucks to suck. Like didn't even bother changing it. These people need to be fired. Hello friends, it's me. It's midnight and I just woke up. And we're gonna check out some design fails. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's the hole where you grab and pick up the box by. It's just very unfortunate placement. For a second, I thought he was getting a little too excited for this automatic trash can. The lid ain't the only thing that's rising. <laughs> Music connects people. You know what a lovely message until you see the photo. <laughs> Music connects people even in death. Jeez, my chorus teacher been real quiet. So we just go and dangle their heads on a note. <laughs> Ew, they look like big juicy slabs of meat. There is no meat in this photo. 100% vegan. This is a crystal seating area. What kind of rock is this? Filet mignon quartz. Those are some mighty fine cuts. Came from a big cow. This is what I imagine bronchosaurus meat to look like. This is what it's gonna be like to travel after quarantine. Plane seats be like, we better risk it all for 2F. Best seat in the house. It's a little loud, but once we take off, there'll be like a nice breeze. If the Starbucks drive through was the Spider-Man meme. Drive through this way? Uh oh, no, this way? <clears throat> Hold on, let me slam my head into both these walls. Trying to get my caramel ribbon crunch frap. For 39 cents, you can get your very own demons. <laughs> you know, as much as that sounds like a great deal, it's just a very fancy L instead of a D is lemons. And this whole time I had no idea. Lemons was just one letter off from demons. It's like they should rhyme. Lemons, demons. Demons, lemons. Which is it? Thanks for shopping with us. Now get out before I throw this pineapple at you. I'm confused. I just spent $250 on groceries and you're threatening me with a fruit. Someone is selling eggs, shellless, boneless eggs. I love how they had to put it in a plastic baggie. You know, if only nature made like a natural shell for the eggs to be housed in before you cook them. This is painful. I don't know how the mirrors in this bathroom are set up, but you can watch yourself poop in like 500 different dimensions. Nice. PayPal customer support was like, hi, I'm PayPal's virtual agent. Brady was like, I got scammed. PayPal, great. <laughs> More money for us, but I don't even bother with virtual agents. You know whenever these customer service pop-up screens come up? I always ask them, like, you a real person? And if they don't give you a name, like Amy or Joe, you talking to a computer. 
This bathroom is very confusing. You see there is a giant man logo and a giant woman logo. But when you look up, um, the woman logo is on the left and the man is on the right, but it's like reverse. Which one am I walking into? You know, we're taking our chances with this one. It's like, I walk in, I see a urinal, mm, bye. Wrong one. I'll wait to see who comes out. You know, we have this big red emergency button at work. You know where we're gonna put it? Right behind the staff do not enter door. So whenever the employee has to go into the back for the 53rd time to look and see if they have any more switches, you open that door a little too aggressively and bam, emergency time. Target about to be lit. Oh man, now this is unfortunate. A very vital letter is hiding before the A. Canal cruises. No! Canal <laughs> Oh no! Lover's Canal Cruises. That's what it is. That's what it's meant to be. Here we have a good old Sarah Lee truck. You see, Sarah Lee doesn't like Sarah Lee. <laughs> wow, well, it's even funnier when bread makes self-depreciative jokes. So I believe their slogan is, Who doesn't like Sarah Lee? Us gluten intolerance, actually. Sarah Lee can burn in a fire for all I care. Not like I'll ever get to experience her. Here we have a chicken, and a pig, and this is milk! <laughs> and I just completely forget that it's a cow, or maybe they're naming what, what it gives. A chicken gives chicken, a pig gives pig, and a cow gives milk! The real crime is charging $79.99 for this. Here we got some fried chicken! A guaranteed reduced quality. Are you gonna reduce my price if you're gonna reduce my quality? So the brand is called Reduced. So are they guaranteeing bad quality chicken? I mean, if it come in one of these containers and you're getting it from the Walmart deli department, yeah, at least it's honest. I guess they wanted it to say guaranteed quality. Okay, you know what? I think we'll put this park bench right here and then right under it, they're gonna put a sprinkler. Can come on at any moment. <laughs> Very unfortunate placement. Now we go and take our chances with this one. Feel bad for anybody who lays down. Decides to have a little nap. Surprise shower. Soap not included. In the men's room, they decided to add a glass panel so everybody has the perfect pee pee view. <laughs> Literally. To just watch you do your business. Y'all are dudes. Y'all don't even take off your pants all the way. Why do you need the privacy of a door? And that's on feminism. I think this might be out of jail because they do do that. They gotta watch you at all times. Oh, we set up this fancy gate. You'll never get into our establishment after hours. It's not like you can just step on this little ledge and walk on over. No, that would be illegal. Y'all are really dumb for this. What's the point of even blocking off any of this if somebody could just go right around? Reevaluate your gate. You know, I got this really cute mug, except when I drink out of it, it stabs me in the eyeballs. You know, nothing wakes you up in the morning like this coffee, except some little eye pokes. It's like the idea of it was cute, but this design just, no. Put some pens in it or something. Same brand, similar packaging, two very different liquids. One is a sparkling water and one is a vinegar when you accidentally drink the wrong one. Nice! That's why these people low-key want to watch the world burn. One wrong beverage at a time. Dunkin' Donuts has a mascot, and when he turns around, who knew donuts were built like humans from behind, too? Does chocolate come out of that hole? I mean, I would imagine. I think we're going to Krispy Kreme after seeing that. This is the hallway in a children's hospital. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's- it's red. Let's paint the floor with some blood. Literally, why would you do this? You could have done any other color. You could have done green. You know, kids love slime. But no, we had to, like, prepare them for what's to come. Donate to help end children. <laughs> Whoa! Where do I donate? No! That's not our intended purpose at all. You know, if you really squint your eyes and read the fine print, it's donate to help end the victimization of Florida's children. Right? Is that what it says? God, my eyesight's gone from 100 to 60 real quick. <gasps> oh, I've been to somebody's house that's like this. Where it's like you have a really narrow staircase and it just goes up and the top floor separates into two rooms just like this. Who built this house? That's not how it should work. Unfortunately, here we are, two steps away from mother's room. Here we have an ad for no littering. And it's like, don't leave it on the beach. Put it in the bin. <laughs> yes, mothers, you hear that? Stop leaving your child on the beach. You don't want to put it in the bin. Simple. <laughs> no, but for real though, why did they put a baby in this ad? Giving us the wrong ideas. Here we have a snowflake mini waffle maker. 
<laughs> Except they forgot to Photoshop the top of it that separates it from a waffle maker and a snowflake mini waffle maker. Like if I push that down, that's not gonna make a snowflake. This is misleading, clickbait, and I will not stand for it. Wait, if it doesn't have the squares, technically isn't that a pancake? That's a snowflake pancake. If you don't have the squares, you're no longer a waffle. It's like having a burger shaped hot dog. It doesn't that make no sense? This is the most important apostrophe I have ever seen. Ain't nobody wanna eat at a place with a name like this. A news, A news kitchen. Belongs to A new. You eat in there or nah? Here we have this grate right outside my door. And here is my lock. You know, I wonder how many times they have to think to themselves every time they unlock their door. You can't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. You can't drop it. And then they dropped it. This was bound to happen. Why don't you put a doormat on it? You basically asking for this. Here's an ad for VR. <laughs> you got a two-sided iPhone or something? My dude is in the process of getting blinded right now. VR game be like, it's like I'm really walking on the sun without getting burnt to death. Clearly don't know how it works. <laughs> Here we have a sign that says no crime, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Criminals be punching the air like, dang it, I gotta wait till after 6 p.m. Crime rates drop to zero after the sign was put up, but only from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Feel free to go crazy after that. <laughs> Someone thought it'd be a real brilliant idea to put these glass panels on the bathroom stalls. Why? You know, I bet their reasoning was like, so I know if someone's in there or not. There's so many other ways you can tell. But no, we're gonna go with the glass approach. I am uncomfortable. This is a fashion ad. And as you can see, the woman is standing, clutching her clutch. Also, there is a mirror to her side. Her and her reflection are facing me. Or perhaps it's the doorway to an alternate universe where she has a twin. This picture doesn't make any sense. This mug says quality. It's what we made of. That's what we represent. It's a way of life till the handle comes off. <laughs> and then you look inside it and it says psych. This bathroom is a visual representation of my life right now. Who did this tile? Y'all drag and drop and forgot to like readjust? But how do you do that in real life? I don't get it. Take action. Take control. Quit school. It's funny because there's a no smoking ad, but things got a little messed up in the process. I guess they didn't account for the school bus sign while they were making the ad to go on the bus. So now you're telling me to quit school? Verona, one step ahead of you. When you underpay workers to make your sidewalks. <laughs> Bro, we ain't even got enough asphalt to do this. It's all curvy. This must be fun riding a bike on it though. But why you built like that? I call this the Tripmaster 5000. When you're coming down these stairs and you think it's a step, but the last one is not a step and you're actually on the ground. Nice. Hello friends, it's me. And today I have for you some crusty, musty design fails. This hospital thought they were being smart. And on the elevator they put, Today's the day. We take the stairs. Uh, hold up. He literally can. Well, you know what? Maybe he should just stand up and take the stairs. You know, it's that simple. A lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> In this store, we only have public bathrooms. Okay, that's fine. And then you walk in. Well, we say public, we want to be able to know exactly what's going on at all times. At this point, what's the point of even putting a door? So people can look, but they cannot touch. People in prison be like, at least y'all get a door. Here we have a very sad billboard with mommy and her child like, where's daddy? And then right behind it, you got an ad for a gentleman's club. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I know exactly where daddy is. Here we got a Spider-Man toy. You know he's on his bike, right? And then you pop him off. Oh no. No, that's not how it works. This is how guys ride their bikes. Y'all got a second pair of keys. <laughs> Whoever made this go to jail. People are eating children in this area. Please leash your dogs and clean up after them. Thank you. Is this allowed? Hello, FBI. People are eating children in this area. People are eating children in this area. What are you trying to tell me? I have to leash up my dog and clean up after them, but y'all are eating children in this area? No. Uh. <laughs> But her mouth so unfortunately happens to be where the gas cap is. Uh, that's one way to get rid of her faster. Nothing got me feeling young again. Like a gallon of gasoline. So here we have the Starbucks delivery van. It usually says Starbucks on it. But when you slide the doors open, it's just the logo. It sucks. Yes. A statement I stand behind. Starbucks does suck. Y'all always messing up my order with your watered down drinks. 
Rob! Snorlax looking real different here. Might as well call him Pika Swallow, cause you know he don't chew his food. Extra thick at all the wrong places. Can't even fit on a Pokeball no more. Oh, you know what? Maybe that was his plan all along. Hot surface, do not touch. It's a literal fireplace. But you know what? We're gonna put Braille right here. Why? Anyone who touches is literally gonna burn their hands while they try to read it. Y'all are dead serious, huh? So these people gave the bakery a USB drive and they were like, hey, I want this on the cake. They're like, I say no more. I got you. And then literally instead of what is on the USB drive, took a picture of the actual USB drive and was like, okay, wham, bam, there we go. USB cake. <laughs> nice. Some people, the brain, it, it just don't work. At the first glance, here we have a seemingly normal wristwatch, right? And then you look at it. You see where the 12 is supposed to be, right? And then you got one, two, three, dot, four. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Something went very wrong here. Whoever made this clearly doesn't know how to count. What is it? Three and a half, four, four and a half, five, six, seven, eight, and one dot, and then it's nine. At least three and nine, they're in the right place. Oh, this is making my head hurt. Throw the whole thing away. If you can't tell time, you're not worth a dime. You know, in the shower, we put the spot specifically right here where you could put your shower. Like, you just pop it right in there, perfect. You know what? I think you could go here, right here, next to it. Ah! It's not my bathroom. It's not my bathroom. It's not mine. I don't have to deal with this. What did you think this little setting was for? To hold your Diet Coke sideways while you let it drip into your mouth as you take your shower? You know, the neighborhood was generous enough to put up a basketball hoop and make a basketball court. But wait, pebbles. You can't play basketball on pebbles? Who did this? Who paid actual money for this? None of y'all who planned this or the workers or anything like realized like, you can't bounce a ball on pebbles. What, we gonna play ball in our F-150? At Walgreens, we have two bottles that look almost identical. Except one, our allergy eye drops. They go in your eye and the other is earwax removal drops. So imagine putting some drops formulated to destroy earwax into your eye. No. Can y'all like change the color or something? Y'all practically twins. Except one will destroy your eyesight. Thirst floor. Forced floor. Fist floor. Cyst. Sixth. Sixth. Floor? Okay, that was close. <laughs> oh no, somebody doesn't know how to floor. Y'all drop me off at the thirst floor where I belong. Over here, we have a Chris Noah. Chris Noah. Mwah. My favorite French pastry. I know y'all meant Chris. Chris, no, y'all spelled it wrong. No matter how I check, Chris, it's croissant. All I know is Chris ain't fired. <laughs> Oh look, my favorite store to shop at. Fashion fart. <laughs> I mean, did you mean fashion art? Why is the F so large that it is taking up two lines? So I'm going to assume it's fashion fart. Nothing like some fashion flatulence. <laughs> Nobody will have access to my trash can. I'm going to put up a metal gate, a wall, and everything. Yes, they will be safe and secure. It's not like I could just step over that one brick to get into the trash can. Y'all really thought you did something, huh? I bet they even keep that door locked. <laughs> McDonald's dollar menu, straight ahead. Arrow pointing up, and then you look up. <gasps> Diabetes, a heart attack could be right around the corner. Say no more, so conveniently placed. I mean, they did put a question mark, and it, it is a possibility, but not today. The good news is my custom face mask arrived. The bad news is they printed my face 20% too large. <laughs> What are those dudes, the Whoville? Might be looking like a Whovillian. <laughs> like, this is the perfect opportunity to be able to cover your face so people don't know your identity. I don't know, I don't want my face on like a mask so people like know what my whole face look like. I wanna be mysterious, that's all you get. Sasa lele, slay slay. It's like they're trying to tell me something. Sasa lele. <laughs> oh, sale, 50% off. You ever walk up to the door and pull sh Yes, actually, all the time. When it's like, how does open? How we do this? Usually when it has a handle on the outside, you have to pull it open. But I guess you gotta pull sh Yes, indeed, makes perfect sense. This dress is 100% clean. Somebody on Depop selling this. Doo-doo, muddy, stained dress. Why do you want to look dirty? It's 2020, looking clean ain't good enough. Some people just want to look filthy, like they rolled around in some mud. It's a vibe. Nestle really did this and add for their ice cream of a dude. Look how he's holding it. Oh, oh. I tried to hold it to the side, but it still got liquid in it and now I'm sticky and wet. Look how he's holding the ice cream. How is this approved? They're like, yeah, it's good to go. Why you gotta stick then? 
You go to the store looking for some shorts. And so I found this. I mean, we got the shorts. And some very long sleeves growing out of the pockets. Tuck in the sleeves back into where the pockets are supposed to be. And that's how deep men's shorts are. No cap. Y'all really do be having all that extra real estate. You gotta be built like a dang snow cone to be able to wear this. Here we have a doorknob, but it's not just any doorknob. You see, the lock is right under the doorknob. So if the door is already locked and you can't jiggle the handle out of the way, then you can't unlock the door ever again. So you're kind of stuck in this awkward position where the door handle is covering the lock. What now? What you do? Bust down the door? This is unfortunate. You know, we got these perfectly good set of stairs right here. Oh, we don't need those anymore. Just boom, pop an escalator right on top of them. Right on top of them. You're telling me there is no other place you could have put this dang escalator. Like, why even put the stairs there? If you're going to put an escalator, like, right on top of it. Stupid. This is the bathroom mirror at a restaurant. You know, at least they gave you a mirror. I'm talking about you, Burger King. Making me look at a brick wall while I wash my hands. 